Okay, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this deck later on. Uh, for our first deck of the day, I think we're going to try out some Mono White Angels. So, as you know, I really like the Angel decks. You know, like they're just uh, decks that I've had a lot of success with. Tons of different flavors. Um, I wanted to, tr to try something a little different. Maybe try not playing any other color but white. So, I think... Like what the benefit to playing only white is that our mana base is going to be pretty good. You know, we don't have to worry about getting color screwed too much. Um, but then I'm also playing for the first time in an angel deck this card right here, Benelish Marshall. So we'll kind of see uh, how good this card is, if this card's worth it. Um, maybe even this deck, like without Benelish Marshall and having like baffling ends in the main deck, uh, would be better. Not sure. Um, but, you know, I wanted to play this card. So this is a, you know, because I just haven't. So uh, we have a Johnny also um, to go with, like, our, our early creatures to put pressure on the opponent. Um, you know, hopefully we get to curve out, do that. Then we have, like, the Angels to back us up uh, if we need to be defensive. Uh, I, I am expecting control decks to be kind of a problem. Um, but control decks, you know, like, that's usually, like, the other color. Um, you know, whether we're playing like green, having like Vivian and Carnage Tyrant and things like that, or if we're playing black and having like duress, uh, like some hand disruption, usually the other colors kind of help out against control. Um, don't really have very many, many good options here in mono white. I basically just have Sorcerer Spyglass. Uh, that's kind of about it. Stop like Teferi, uh, when thinking about like Esper control. So that matchup can certainly be tough. I have these demystifies in the board. Crimson Rum, thanks for that resub for the fourth month. Welcome to the channel. Getting that hype up in here. Um, I got the demystifies in the board for Wilderness Reclamation decks. I, I want the instant speed answer to Wilderness Reclamation. It's a really cheap one. Um, you know, it's cheap as it can get. It's that's that's the whole target for demystify. Um, got Sell the Wreckage against uh, Sultai. Baffling End is pretty good against Sultai. I'm not sure. I don't know how much I want to sideboard against Sultai, though, like if I want to bring him in or, or not. Um, but, you know, it's good against aggro decks. That's what Baffling End's going to come in for. Shalai, Lyra, extra copies of these against aggro decks as well. Uh, Ixalan's Binding for, like, Drakes and things like that. So that's what I got. Let's give it a try. Let's see how Mono White Angels does for us. Oh, I didn't hear that. That's that's awful. Yeah, I heard about Luke Perry passing away today, but I didn't realize Keith Flint did as well. The lead singer of Prodigy. Hey, Yud. Yep, so yeah. Good question. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, the reason why I have the green in the mana base is because of Shalai's activation. Um, you know, so I thought it's kind of free just to play uh, the four Sun Petals and the four Temple Gardens. So going ahead and, and doing that. Um, This hand isn't so good. I'm playing 25 lands in this deck. You know, as y'all know, I usually play 26 lands in my Angel decks. Yeah, what a lovely start, huh? Good, Thought Erasure me. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, Dawn of Hope could be a consideration against Control. The problem is, you know, Esper Control is like the, the main control deck. And the problem is that I don't really like enchantments too much against them because of Mortify. Because they just, uh, um, yeah, they have a bunch of Mortifies. And Dawn of Hope's so slow. At least our planes look pretty cool. I would say we are not favored to win this game.
pretty nice having a hero precinct one and then absorb absorb that's pretty nice it's a lot better than what we got going on Yeah, Sun Cleanser could be a, a good sideboard option. Does Sun Cleanser work with... Does it work with Takali Honor Guard? Like, if you have Honor Guard in play, does Sun Cleanser do anything? Playing Esper. I don't think I have too much to sideboard here. I don't like a Danto Vanguard much. Maybe I'm playing Baffling End instead. Again, they're a Mortify deck, but Baffling End at least only gives them out of 3 3. Yeah, I guess I'm just doing that. <laughs> yeah, I need to work on my shuffling skills for sure. Oh, that was pretty embarrassing. Thanks, Yud. Yeah, pretty pretty embarrassing shuffling there. Well, let's see if we draw one land. Yeah, hopefully we don't get man screwed this game. One land gets us like the history, you know, history into Benelish Marshall is pretty good. You know, I'll take that. Okay. We got our, our one land. Now we'll see if we can draw two more. Angel of Grace is probably the worst card we could possibly draw. Yeah, I think Angel of Grace is the worst card we could possibly draw. The Biomancer combo deck later. Oh, I forgot about that deck. Do I want to get rid of Hero Precinct 1? That's fine. Oh, I'll need I'll need some time to, to make that that deck. Sorry about that, Sway. That's annoying. Hey, Nerzilla. I won't hide from reverse. Well, his hand's been really good. Hero of Precinct 1 into Thought Erasure, into Deputy Detention, and then Teferi. Hurry! We've done a lot better at curving out. And then Dispersal plus Absorb. That's pretty nice. Um Hold I don't I don't thought. know what the combo actually is. I know 
I have the cards written down to like make the deck. I guess Ruthless Knave, Slimefoot, and Biomancer is familiar. Game one, we didn't have anything to do. Game two, our no opponent had a really awesome hand. You know, we're both just kind of playing mid mid range curve out decks and stuff, and their hand was awesome. So, GG. And Takali Honor Guard would have been a really good card to have. It's against that deck. Um, I don't know, like the... There's not a whole lot to me doing brewing and stuff. Um, I just, like if it's a brand new deck, I'll um, like go, go through the cards and put together all the cards that I could see playing the deck and just, you know, add everything. Um, you know, make it like, you know, 80, 90 cards in like the deck list and then like have it have it all together and see like all the cards and then just and then just take cards out kind of thing um doesn't usually take take like super long or is any any like uh you know any more involved process than that really but Stellar Knight and Guy in Shades. We have two new subscribers here. Let's show some love. Thank you so much, Stellar Knight and Guy in Shades. I do appreciate that. All right, hopefully History Banali is pretty good in this matchup. Because we got a lot of them. Um, yeah, that, that's all about, that's about all that that is, uh, no, no, I wanted to, I always like to have the, you know, have, play as much magic as possible while streaming, um, and so if there's, like, a, a deck like that, I usually want to do that, so I do, like, before, so, I, you know, like, I think about, like, what decks I want to be playing, like, during the day and stuff, and so, I'm like, hmm, I want to build a deck about around whatever. I'll do that before stream instead of taking up all the stream time on that so you can get through the four decks and everything. But that's not the first question that I've had to, you know, play the decks on stream. That's something that's been asked before. Alright, just gonna play another history. Like, blocking the Viachina Pyromancer isn't, like, spectacular for us, because, like, our, our knights are more valuable than, than the Pyromancer, especially with, like, the third chapter of history. But just making, just trading with resources that doesn't affect that doesn't lower our life total is what we have to do in this matchup, so, so I didn't mind. Um, blocking. Uh, how long do you suggest you have to have played Magic before even trying Brewing? I'm relatively new to Magic, and I like the idea of Brewing, but I have no idea where to start. Um, I, I don't think you have to necessarily be that, um, 
necessarily like that involved in magic before you can start brewing. Like, I don't, I don't think you have to be like a seasoned veteran or anything. Um, you know, you just have to, ha you just have to have, you know, realistic expectations. You may not be making the best decks right away or anything. Um, but yeah, but absolutely, you can, you can just start immediately and start making your own decks. And so. Like, where to start is just playing cards that you want to play, you know? Like, find, you know, pick out a card, two, three cards that you like playing, that you want to, to build around, and start there and start, uh, you know, start like with, start there with your deck list and kind of make some adjust, like, fit around those cards. Um, you could. It could be, um, you know, you could have, like, different decisions that you have to make uh, depending on, you know, like, cards that you have in your collection. You know, like, maybe you don't have all the cards. Maybe you have to be able to play with just what you have and all that kind of stuff. Um, but don't, don't, be, uh, don't be scared to start brewing right away. Hey, Crimson, Coven, getting the Tier 3 sub? For 20th month? Yo, Crimson! Oh, that's Neritis! Okay. Okay. Hey, Neritis. Why the name change, bud? Crimson Coven. Thanks for the continuing that tier 3 sub. Um, this is a tough call. The problem with, with, I mean, I have like the Angel of Grace, which is really good. But the big problem is, is like, I have to keep like Angel of Grace up now. I don't get to like play other cards because I, I have to keep Angel of Grace available. Good. I needed them to, to play their card on their turn. If they were just like, you know, patient and and waited, I yeah, I need them to play the card on their turn. So now now we can win. Now we can just play a Johnny, tick up, and win. Together we are us. I will lend you my strength. Doesn't really matter where I tick up. I could tick up on Angel of Grace and have it do two, and then, or have it deal six, and then these this deals two. It, it just doesn't matter where I tick up. Yeah. Um, as far as like why playing. Oh, okay, cool, cool, good, good here, Crimson. Crimson. I'm going to have to get used to saying that now. I like to Neuritis. Neuritis is fun to say. Um, about, like, why three instead of four for, like, some cards, like legendaries? I think for a card to be a four of, you should, like, ask yourself... Really, you should be asking yourself, how many of this card would I want to put in my deck? Would I want to put five of this card in my deck if I could? Would I want to put six? Basically, would I want to play more than four if I could? If the answer is no, that you don't want to, that you wouldn't want to play more than four, then it's likely that three could be the correct number to have of that card in the deck to begin with. Um. Johnny's not great. Um, 
Um, and really, if there's a card that, that, you, that you really want to draw one of, like think of like a legendary card, you really want to draw one of, but you don't want to draw two at all, because it's like a legendary card that doesn't, doesn't like, you know, probably won't leave the battlefield or anything. You really don't want to draw two, but you, but you do really want to draw one. That's like the perfect, like three of kind of card. Three maximizes your chance of drawing one, but not drawing two. If it's just a, a card that, it's good if you draw one, but you don't really need to draw one. But you definitely don't want to draw two. Um, that's when you're looking at like one or two of the card. So yep, I got I have green mana in here because of this July activation. So I don't have much green mana. It's not you know like that vital that I activate July or anything like that. So that's what the green mana in the deck is doing in the deck. Yeah, I know, right? We have 12 2, 12 two drops, and this is the first game that we actually have a two drop on turn two. So that's what I kind of have built around the deck is like you know starting off. Uh, with a two drop on two. Hey, the sausage. I just realized I have two. <laughs> To be determined. There we go. That's better. To determine B. B. That's a weird timing on that lightning strike. Oh. I was kind of planning on playing Shalai, but I think I should play a Johnny, so I wish I would have done this pre combat. Hey, Joe Bags, good afternoon. So I'm going with a Johnny before Shalai, um, because a Johnny can tick up next you turn on a Shalai and protect the Shalai. By protect, I mean keep Shalai out of lava coil range. Ah, well, I got an extra two points of damage by doing it that way. See, if I would have played the Johnny first and ticked up, they would have shocked my token. Smart. See, I was doing it the right way the whole time. Uh, yes, Tyro. Deliver us to victory. All right, Shalai, deliver us to victory. Good job. Way to go, Shalai. All right, one and one. Mono White Angels. Decent against Mono Red. Especially after sideboarding. That's a matchup that, you know, we're going to be good against. That's what we want to be facing. Alright, we can take this. This is a good aggressive start. Unfortunately, we're on the draw. Um, it'd be better on the play, of course. Hey, what's up, Yager? Means I am no longer associated with SCG and do not want to partake in any of their events. That's what that means. The Legendary Sunday, I, I think that the Naya list is, is the best of the list. It's the most well-tuned. Um, I did enjoy the other ones, too. I mean, I just enjoy all of those decks. Um, maybe that's actually a place where I should be paying to for life. So I'm taking another two anyway, so it's, it's really just paying two life to keep that thing around. With them having the issue of Pyromancers. Yeah. 
the only way to get the alternate art for lands now is to um, yeah I think I should have paid with that, that Adanto Vanguard before that's okay we're still doing great um, you have to import the deck with the specific lands on the import part. Like when you when you import a deck list, you have to have it like, you know, written like Island uh Dominaria number two oh four or you know, I d I don't know like the the exact numbers, but that's what you have to do. So you have to like look up the um I know it's kind of a pain, but you have to, you have to look up the specific numbers and everything and import the deck list into arena with that. I know, I, I, I agree. Um, it's, it's, that was something I was really disappointed with because the deck builder was like the worst part of the game. Uh, I don't want to go that far, but the deck builder was really bad. And it's honestly surprising that they made it worse with the update. I, I was so excited for that update because the deck builder was real bad, and I was like, oh man, I can't wait for this deck builder to be better. Um, and now it's just worse. <laughs> it's like, how did they do that? Hey, hey, two nails. So they've finally used their burn spells to kill the Shalai. They had to do that eventually. We'll see if we ever draw this fifth land. I don't think it'll matter too much. I don't think our two cards our opponent has. I mean, they they flooded out. You know, mono, mono red having the seven lands there. They they definitely flooded out. All right, let's do the same thing. Let's bring in baffling in instead of vanguard. That's an upgrade there. Uh, Shalai and Lyra replacing these two Ajani's, and that's our that's our sideboard. Our deck does look pretty good against aggro. Hey, sculpt of mine. We got out mid ranged our first match. Our opponent had a lot better curve than us. Hmm. Real hasty on that lightning strike, but I guess with the, the Tithe Taker, they would have needed to cast that before Tithe Taker anyway. Alright, History of Benalia or Benelish Marshal for next turn. I know a Benelish Marshal could potentially make the could potentially make like that token bigger than the one one and so on, but it's just likely that if I try try that the Benelish Marshal gets killed and I'm just taking the trade while I can, you know, I want to keep the life total high, so just Taking the trade, keeping the life total high, moving on. Hmm. So we'll force them to use their burn spells on Shalai that hopefully helps Lyra out. Yeah, 
Down to six. We're going down to four. Oh, that's really good. We don't have to go down to four to cast Lyra. <laughs> this deck is versus Mono Red is basically Dragon Ball Z waiting until Goku arrives. Kind of same with Lyra. Wait until Lyra arrives. Ooh, that's a good card to draw. And that's it. Two and one. <laughs> yeah, no, you make make a good point there. Yeah, that's that's basically what happened there. Hopefully we just keep facing Mono Red over and over again. Mountain. Tilt. Yeah, so like that that last turn what what we would have done is attack with Attack or play the Benelish Marshal, attack with the Lyra, gain six, play Resplendent Angel, get another four four. It was quite over. But Dante Vanguard's gonna be better against Esper Control than Resplendent Angel is, so even though it's not using our mana as well, it's getting a better creature on the battlefield. And I don't know if I actually want to play anything here. You know, this is just like absorb mana here. Oh wait, they can't have absorb because of Tithe Taker. All right, well I think that answers that question. Let's go and play a Resplendent Angel. Because even if they have Kaya's Wrath, which, you know, like, they're definitely looking towards having Kai's Wrath, but even if they do, we have the Adanto Vanguard. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with playing Mono Red because it's really cheap and uh, you don't have other cards. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, so, yeah, I recently started wearing glasses. Yep. It's a, a new thing throughout... Uh, Basically, last month or so. So yeah, pretty new. No, I'm not playing around Settle. We're not going to really beat Settle anyway. Like, Settle Wreckage is just, just going to wreck us, you know gonna wreckage us anyway so I'm not playing around it hmm Well, now we can maybe beat Sell the Wreckage, and so now maybe I can play around it. But they didn't have it last turn. Yeah, Esper, a lot of Esper players do play Settle still. They didn't do it last turn. Or they just suddenly have it this turn. I was gonna say that would have been so savage if they just suddenly had it this turn. Uh, 
All right, so Kaya's Wrath, we still get to keep the Danto Vanguard alive, which can attack for three. And they are at three. It's a convenient life total for us. This is a pretty tough matchup for us. I don't really have a sideboard for it. Um, I got some spy glasses. That's about it. So I'm just going to take out these honor guards. I guess I'm going to play another binding. Even though I don't really love binding. Here. Maybe I should play the other Shalai instead of the Lyra. Mm. Instead of a Lyra. I don't like binding because of how they just play a bunch of mortifies. Dawn of Hope, that's that's the thing. Dawn of Hope's also really slow and you know gets mortified. Um, it's real slow of like, you know, four mana to make a one one. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, honor, yeah, they could have, they may have Hostage Taker or Bell Hunt um, after sideboard that Honor Guard could do something against, but they can also just, they play a whole lot of removal, so even if they have those cards, they can just kill the Honor Guard, and if they don't have those cards, Honor Guard's not going to do anything, being a 1-1. A 1-1 one, one. Um, one, one is just, or sorry, sorry, 1-3, but still 1 power, either way. 1 power, is, it's just such a weak card. Um, it's, just, it's just not worth it. The 1-3 body just doesn't doesn't kill the opponent at all. And there was Hostage Taker. They can even activate Resplendent Angel as well. I didn't play History Banal yet on turn 3, even though that was my best turn 3 play, uh, because I was worried about the counter spell. Hostage Taker is doing a whole lot, though. You know, it's trading with my Resplendent Angel and half of my History Banalia. It's doing a whole lot. I would like to draw a Johnny Mentor, or sorry, a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. It's a card I'd like to draw. Not a, not necessarily a bad card. The card's not so bad. Do I keep a planes in hand for like dispersal? They should be playing Kai's Wrath here. Well, I guess they only have one white mana, though. Do you need another white source for Kai's Wrath? Yeah, you can find this deck exclamation point deck list. Hmm. 
Interesting. Maybe they don't have a basic planes. No basic planes. No basic planes. Ooh, no basic planes. Now I'm getting punished for not playing that planes before. If I would have played that planes before, I could have played the Lyra here. Because we don't have to worry about the sweeper. So I should have played that planes last turn. It was right it was right above you, Zavero, right before you started typing. The link is right above where you said deck list. That's that's the thing, MTG bot doesn't um doesn't respond like immediately right again. I'll see if I can try it. There we go. Been nice to have that Lyra down. Um, So even if they have Kaiser out there, they'd have to top deck another white source, which isn't super likely. Kaiserath plus moment craving. I don't think there's really a reason to play this this July. Yeah, keeping land for discard if something something happens, but it's not very likely. I can no longer stand by and watch. Hey, we got our tough matchup. Opponent getting uh, stuck on collar, of course, certainly helped us out quite a bit. That one field of ruin was real nice. And we are now 3-1. and one. Nice. Good job, King Toll. You got all of the rare dual lands in Arena. There you go. Now you are... You're almost there. Now you just need all the rest of the cards. <laughs> No, yeah, getting all the, the dual lands, that is certainly a good feeling. No, not another Esper control deck. Especially I don't have a two drop. Ugh. This is this is a lot worse. We're playing Esper Control again, but they have they actually have Search Risk Cancel on turn two. Definitely a lot worse for us. Wow. They're just getting rid of Teferi. Your goodbyes Your already are my profits. Just gonna take this here. Search for Escanta. <laughs> but you can't hit me again. 
They can Teferi tuck binding, but then I just draw it again pretty soon. You want something banished? Funny, that's what I do. You beat me this time. Bravo. I'm playing history because if if they have a sweeper, well, that's fine. I was gonna say if they have a sweeper, then um, yeah, it's like part of the history of Benalia getting swept up there. Not really committing more to the battlefield until they answer this resplendent angel. Yeah, them ditching the ditching the Teferi was pretty odd, huh? The fairy seems like it would have been a great card to have like this whole time. I don't have a specific number of legends that I think are, are necessary to consistently cast the legendary spells. I don't really have a, necessarily have a number in my head or anything like that. Um, Cause like like with the Grixis deck, I know we have less, but it has like. Um, I know we have less there, but then it also has uh, card draw, you know, like with the with the charter courses and stuff. Hey, thanks, Jelly. Thanks for that resub. Being on that two-month streak. Now saying, learned a ton from you the last month. Well, definitely glad see to have you here, Jelly. What I see in you. That is sub number five on the day. All right, again, lots of subs today. Thank y'all so much. Early on here in the stream, just an hour in. Yeah, that means it's gonna be pack time. Pack time after this match. That was just game one though, right? Yeah, that was just game one. Maybe our Esper control matchup isn't as bad as I was thinking. Let's get another binding in here. Get those honor guards out. Should I play this fourth binding? Instead of like a Lyra? Nia Legends did awesome. Steam rolled. We, we went 5-1 and uh, very quickly too. It was only like a little over an hour. Um, we started our final boss match like an hour into the league. Hey, Jelly, built and played the Nia Legends deck. Love it. That's awesome. Glad you're enjoying it, Jelly. And you get uh, get that top cheer spot for the week. There's my cheers emote. There we go. Cheers. Yeah, I have a lot of cards that can go. <laughs> ben Elish Marshall's not, not amazing. Lyra's not amazing. July is not that great. I have, I have a lot of cards that we could potentially side out uh, in this matchup, but not a whole lot to necessarily bring in. Maybe I start need to... I know somebody said yesterday that I need to start playing the the Nia Legends deck every single day. Is all about them hostage takers. Last time the opponent had turn four hostage taker as well. But we 
Got to keep hitting land drops last time, though. <laughs> Quasi Dupla Ooze is your favorite sculpted mine? Oh, that was, that was you yesterday making that suggestion? Yeah, it's not a bad su suggestion at all. Um, they did not play the Tithe Takers. So they want to have their four mana available. That's kind of rough. So do I want to play Tithe Taker and Resplendent Angel or play Lyra? We know they don't have sweepers if they're not they weren't casting their sweeper. Like they could they had a pretty good opportunity to display Kaiser out there. Wow. They're just willing to go to two? Huh. Why are they not blocking at all? More contempts. I'm gonna go with the Lyra. Lyra is the least this is like kinda like the worst of my cards. I'm known for my excellent type. You need to well, slow they're, down. They're kinda dead. They're at two. I have three attackers, they have two blockers. Hmm. Alright. We'll take it. Yeah, just Slois, do you have any um do you have any mill deck by chance? Or just just like like have you been playing a mill deck yourself quite a bit? I guess I don't I don't have it anymore. I had a mill deck previous I've pl played a mill deck one time in this format previously. Ooh, ooh, good call, Jelly. Cancel. Sorry, I was thinking about the mill deck. I was trying to cancel um, to go get the pack, but it didn't work. Um, let's do the pack after this. <laughs> Is this Esper Control number three? Three in a row? Uh. Yeah, I, I did play a, a mill deck. Um, I have played a mill deck before. Um, as a Azorius mill. Um, I had a really janky sideboard that I that I played whenever I played it that I recommended changing and, and everything. Um, yeah, you can you can find that replay if you want to. Okay, if if you if you want to see me play a mill deck, um, you know you can go go through the YouTube channel, um, look for Azorius Mill. It would have been um, not long after RNA came out, probably. It was probably like a week to six month, a week to six months or six weeks ago. Sorry. It was quite a while ago. A mill deck is a deck that wins by milling the opponent, which is putting all of the opponent's cards from their graveyard into their library. Uh, they get to, they can win by, um, 
the opponent not having <clears throat> they win by the opponent not having any cards to draw all right and that's game assuming our opponent doesn't have anything else to do so we just play this thing Play our land, activate Shalai, and that's 10. Boom. Yeah, you may have to do some digging past the YouTube channel. It's definitely... It's de yeah, so it's, it was a while ago, but... Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if the opponent has Nexus, it doesn't work. <laughs> True. Nexus is messed up. Um, Alright, so I'm bringing in Binding and Spyglass and taking out Honor Guard. Man, if we beat three Esper control decks... So I don't think this matchup's good for us, but we just have just kind of been killing our opponents. Our opponents haven't had, like, the best of hands. You know, we haven't seen, like, turn 4 Kaya's Wrath, turn 5 Teferi at all, thankfully. Ugh. I don't need all this interaction. Um, so it did pay to have the it did pay to have the Sun Petal Groves and Temple Gardens that last game how we got to activate the Shalai to be able to win um, so those were better than, than basics for that game Yeah, we're just kind of like curving out, you know? Look how Playing our creatures, attacking. Johnny's a real good draw. Make this clock somewhat serious. Oh, fire off that field of ruin. Dang it. I hope you find your path. Never fails. I understand you'll be strong. And of course our, our opponent knows our hand, so they just know that we're top decking these Ajani's. <laughs> they know our hand. This is about to be a 5-0. Or a 5-1, I mean. <laughs> they probably think that killing that green source is important. It's really not. I like them using that two mana. Well, that card's pretty good. Ooh, gets to exile my token. Hmm. Where's Teferi?
So do I want to work a Johnny up to this ultimate? Yeah, I probably do. Seeing yourself. So I know I can attack them and put them on a on a one turn clock, but I'm just gonna get Kaya out of here. I won't forget this. I think that's worth it. I I think I don't really want them to exile my Tithe Taker from my graveyard and stuff like that. But I think I am just going to go towards this Ajani ultimate. I know it it's, takes us a little more time. Hmm. I'll just play that now under a counter spell and be able to get the counter on it. Alright, so now if I ultimate this Ajani, hopefully that's game. I feel like it's hard for Esper to be an Ajani ultimate. Of course, their opponent's facing lethal right now also, so they have to like worry about that. I have summoned reinforcements. Alright, thanks Ajani, thanks for summoning those reinforcements. Yeah, Matthew. Yes. Can you send me your, your list? Yeah, get him, Hawkeyes. A bunch of little kitty tokens. Where's Hawkeye at anyway? He must be up on the bed. All right, five win league. Um. Yeah, the deck the deck performed pretty well. I can't believe we we defeated three Esper control decks. And the thing was, we didn't even lose a game. We went we won two o two o two o every single time. Um, I didn't think that that was necessarily going to be a good matchup for us, but you know, just cards like Tithe Taker, Adanto Vanguard, History of Benalia, Ajani, all those cards were just like really good. Um, and it, you know, it's just kind of hard for our, our Esper opponent to deal with them really. Um, so there we go. Yes, you can have two of the same emblem. Yep, absolutely. You can have as many emblems, um, as you want there. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that's Mono White Angels. Um, you know, I, I don't think I would change anything before we play the next one. Uh, you know, we, we did lose pretty bad to an Esper, mid, to Esper midrange, but our, our opponent had two awesome hands and we didn't. Um, so... There we go. All right, so yeah, I'll, I'll crack the pack open here. I guess we'll go ahead and do that before exiting the YouTube video, I suppose, so we can get the, the pack on on YouTube. Um, so I already got all the Ravnica Allegiance. We got Guilds of Ravnica. I'm pretty sure I already have all the rares, speaking, not necessarily Mythics, but all the rares in Dominaria and Rivals of Ixalan now, I think. Um... So I think it's only M19 and Ixalan is like the only sets left. Let's go with an Ixalan. We're not too far away. Tilanali's skin shifter. Not too far away from having all the rares. And then yeah, so um, we'll kind of just determine what to do once for like our our sub goal stuff whenever we do have the packs. All right, so if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching some Mono White Angels, and I'll see you for the next video.